I'm good. How are you? Awesome. I was on the lo- wrong live stream. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, enough about that. <laughs> I love your your disco vibe going on here. Well, I thought we had some fun stuff with our uh, 1979 pattern inspiration. So I thought, why not show up like a disco ball? Why not? (laughs) Exactly. I love it. I love it. (laughs) Um, Okay. Well, welcome to my live stream. I come uh, live on YouTube uh, once a week and we have a good time. The knitters like to come and chat and say hello. Uh, Be sure to say hi to Elizabeth and let us know where you're tuning in from. That's always my favorite to hear. Um, So uh, Elizabeth is here because we have a fun pattern collaboration. Hint, hint. (laughs) Oh, there it is. Oh, and you're wearing the other. By I way. am. Yes. Here, I so love up. it. Yes. It looks great. So yeah, I have uh, to wear it with the uh, the turtleneck today though, because it's it's oh. cold. As you can see, I don't know if you can see out my window. We have snow. It's still winter here, so. <laughs> but it shows the versatility of this piece that it is very lightweight and it's kind of perfect for these. Is it spring? Is it not spring? It's very good in between weather kind of stuff. Yeah. So, oh, we have Sue. Hi, Sue. And Mary. Hi, Mary from Colorado. Nice to see you guys. So we have Elizabeth in Portland, Maine. Uh, Just north of Portland, about half an hour north of Portland. Wow. And I um, I live about a half hour north of San Diego. <laughs> so we, <laughs> we couldn't be further on the same continent, I don't think. It's, it's, it's so true. So true. <laughs> Um, so what brought us here today with Elizabeth is we have a really fun new pattern collaboration called the Sporty 45. And these are, uh, a really cute, like she said, a pullover and a cardigan pattern. And we collaborated for our 45th birthdays. (laughs) We were born, we found out uh, about five years ago that we um, were born within about a week of each other. And uh, so five years ago, we did a collaboration called Sporty 40, where we used, you use Sporty, you so Sporty yarn, and Elizabeth designed a shawl with it, which was super fun. And then here we are, fast forward five years, (laughs) somehow. (laughs) Somehow. <laughs> very quick five years. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Also very long. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's true. Both at the same time. <laughs> yes. Uh, so now we are 45 all of a sudden. And um, yeah, we thought it'd be super cool to do like a, since we were born in 1979, we thought we'd have a fun like disco vibe and 45 records and all that type of stuff. So that is where the inspiration for our kind of 70s vibe on the patterns and my disco ball. (laughs) Exactly. I have a nice, uh, you know, retro vibe going on. Definitely. I I loved when we first chatted about this project of incorporating the whole, like, well, we're turning 45. So using 45 records and sort of getting into that, uh, getting into that, musical vibe as well so I know we and there were so many good songs like yeah uh that were cha- cha- top hits in 1979 like mm-hmm. My Sharona and mm-hmm. Don't Stop Till You Get Enough like such good <laughs> <laughs> um let's see Oh, I will survive. That's another favorite. Oh, yeah, that's a that's that's a classic. Classic. Say, there was another Donna Summer too. Um, Bad Girls. I think that was on the top ooh, of the list too. Yeah, that is good. And yeah. Ring My Bell that came out oh. that year. We had we were, yeah. So anyway, we kind of picked a really great year to be born. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was all thanks to us. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So yeah, that was kind of where the inspiration started was this like 
70s thing and Elizabeth kind of uh, drew from that. And I love on the patterns how they have those um, stripes that kind of remind me of like tube socks. <laughs> yes. Yes. That was actually on my, uh, that was on my mood board when I was sort of <laughs> trying to get idea inspiration for what felt very like quintessential late seventies, getting into the early eighties time period. And those tube socks with the stripes were kind of, you know, very Everybody. much, <laughs> that was yeah. the thing. Right. <laughs> so I kind of wanted to incorporate that, uh, but not have it be super sock looking. So uh, yeah. that's why I went with the uh, the varying kind of stripes, you know, so we got some like really skinny one round stripes, and then we have some thicker ones. Um, so just to, just to keep it a little bit interesting, too. And it's a fun way to add a pop of color, which your color palette is kind of Oh, I know. I thought, we could, I thought we could pull down the basket and uh, talk about colors here in a moment. Yes. Yeah. Because we had a lot of fun with that as well, kind of picking what the color palette, like we wanted to pull some inspiration, right, for everybody that sort of had a bit of that late 70s vibe to it. I'm, I feel like I'm wearing the very late 70s sort of colors here, which I naturally gravitate towards. I love these colors. So if yeah. I could have, a, if I could have a fridge this color, like, like my parents used to have in the 70s, I totally would. <laughs> um, I, uh, when I bought my house, it had the Harvest Gold version of the fridge oh, and the dishwasher. Nice. <laughs> but yeah. then water, if anyone, yeah. Water also if anyone out there out also the had an avocado uh, green or gold appliance, let us know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I love those. I know. Well, and the thing is, I feel like a lot of those lasted forever. So, you know, yeah. they were good quality. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> um, so you have the pullover that we can see on the mannequin yes. and then um you're also wearing the cardigan version so it is a it's a double pattern release today isn't it, it is it is um i couldn't quite decide which i wanted to do when i was originally sketching and brainstorming for this cuz really a sweater vest just sweater vests in general were so popular in that time. I mean, I think they're popular always, but they were especially popular then. Um, so I felt like both of them kind of had that that vibe of that time period, and I couldn't decide. And so why not do both? Because sometimes you want a pullover, and sometimes you want a cardigan. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and some people prefer. And it's like, well, if you're already yeah. working it up, you know, people prefer one over the other. So. I yeah. love that you can, I love that you can knit both. And I think you also have it as like a package deal too. So you can bundle it and you get can exactly. exactly. I mean, so you can get them individual. If you prefer, if you're just, let's say not a cardigan person or not a pullover person, you can buy it individually if you want, but if you want both, you get a discounted price. So you can get it either on my website or on Ravelry. It's kind of bundled together as an ebook, and it's basically buy one, get one half off. Um, so you get a bit of a discount then if you, if you get both. I think that's awesome. Yes. And yeah, uh, uh, well, we can start talking yarn, but we do have a discount on the yarn too for this release. So Yay. yeah, we're offering 10% off the um, Use So Sporty Yarn uh, through April. So if you want to pick out your colors, we can start talking colors. <laughs> There's so many good options. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I so okay. Let's see. Elizabeth is wearing the wheat mm -hmm. with the orange peel right over here. Yeah, which I love. I love that I bright know. orange, especially with the wheat color. Like it's it's like the perfect amount of pop, but still sort of all meshes together really well. Yeah, it looks so great, and it looks like you. It looks like you'd wear it a lot. Like, yeah, it could because I feel like even with the orange, I feel like it goes with a lot. Like I'm wearing right now a turtleneck that's sort of like an egg plant color. Okay. Um, and it totally goes with it. And I feel like I've worn it over a lot of different things. Um, and it just, it's a really good, it's like a fun neutral. <laughs> yeah. Because it has that little, it has that like little, little extra something, something. Yeah. 
And then the pullover is in, let's see, that is in the pistachio. Yes. And then yeah, it I'm has the, chocolate. I'll move her a little closer here. Oh, yeah. Well, there hello, we go. Fred. Yeah, hello. <laughs> and then that has a chocolate stripe, right? Yes, that's chocolate for the stripe. Yes. So cute. Let me get those held up better. There we are. Yeah. Yeah, I love those colors so together. So pretty. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. I... And that green is kind of the perfect, I love a green that has just like a little bit of yellow, but not too yes. much. Like it's that perfect sort of um, blend where it kind of can look very modern or retro. It kind of, yeah. it, it goes both it's ways. It's got that avocado, see, I've got my avocado vibe uh, <laughs> nails too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> love it. <laughs> I know. I think it looks great. And I thought that like the teal would look cool. Oh, and of course mm -hmm. the saffron. Yes. I mean, oh. I love the saffron. Yeah. And I'm kind of into the berry. I don't know. I'm always into berry. I can't I help love it. the berry too. I know. I saw... that was... And I like the, um, there's that other green shade that you have too, which is really nice. Oh, the forest fern. Yes. I really like that. I kind and of I'm... feel like that maybe with like a gray could look really nice if you wanted to keep it a bit neutral, but again with it. Yeah, exactly. Or with the wheat. Yeah. I like that. Ooh, the gray mm -hmm. is pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like that would go with a lot of different things. Speaking of the gray, I saw some of your test knitters on Ravelry use the silver with the sapphire. Too. Yes, I know, which looked really, really great. Yeah, so yeah, good. Yeah, so it's fun seeing um, all the different color combinations, because that's the great thing with color pairing, is you could definitely use some of the suggestions that we've given for the different combinations, but you can make it your own. And there's such a big color palette that, you know, just pick two colors that you really like together. You could go, you know, uh, color theory and go contrasting, you know, complementary color if you want something to like oh. really pop or you can go more like monochromatic for something maybe a little bit more subtle. We've had a lot of conversations about those. Oh, um, here's your reminder. Sorry. Deploy. Mm -hmm. um, We've had a lot of conversations about those uh, contrasting color um, topics. So, you know, and the complementary colors of like orange and blue. Mm -hmm. And if you don't want to go so sharp, like how good would that blue look with the saffron instead? Yeah, oh, you know? I like that. Mm -hmm. So we we talked a lot about, uh, I love talking about um complementary colors contrasting colors and all that stuff and if we remember uh purple's complementary color is yellow which i have a nice light yellow mm -hmm. that's pretty but how great would it look with this i knew you were gonna pull that out <laughs> i mean that I is such it. a fun com combo it really is and then we also have our red and green which you could do bright red, but it would be really pretty in like the red velvet. Like yeah. that's kind of that cool kind of burnt um, 70s color. You know, yeah. you, could, you could do Ooh, that, like but I think it'd be really pretty with the teal. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, like that. Teal with the red stripe, maybe. Uh huh. Or even that one. Yeah, that's yeah. good too. Yeah. <laughs> I could be here so all day, options. and I have so, exactly so many good <laughs> options. <laughs> um, but yeah, so super fun. I want to drop, um, I want to drop the links in the chat. I it's hard here when it's on the phone. Oh, but we yeah. can say hi and see who's in the chat. We have a lot of nice yeah. messages. Hi to Elizabeth. Mm. Hi from Judy. I live closer to Elizabeth than to Heather. Very nice. nice. Christine from New Jersey. <laughs> oh, hello from Ohio. Hi, Beth. Yes. Oh, she loves the state of Maine. It's very Yay. pretty. Yeah. <laughs> Even when it's snowy and yeah, gosh, that's okay. It's still it's still beautiful. <laughs> oh, Mary says the Bee Gees. Yes, oh, that is yeah. our whole vibe. And yes. I do have a special surprise of something that we haven't even shown you yet. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Saving that's that one. Why I'm dressed like this. Um, okay. And then love Elizabeth's patterns made Ramona three times. Oh, um, awesome. Thank you. Ramona is such a cute sweater. 
Oh, thank you. Melissa, hola. Nice to see you. Hello from T. McSwain. Mary, great color combos. Thank you. Ah, here you go. Beth, what is the difficulty of the pattern? So I would consider them to be good advanced beginner or beginner looking to learn a couple of new techniques. I think even if you've never knit a garment before, these are great projects to start with um, because they're very simple construction overall. There's um, not a whole lot of different kinds of shaping to it, but the shaping that there is, such as in the shoulder shaping, I'll bring, bring my lady over here again to show. So the shoulders, as you can see, have this nice slope, and that's what kind of gives it a bit more of that modern silhouette where it's sort of going down the shoulder instead of sort of going straight out. And I use short rows for that, but even if you've never done short rows before, I have video tutorials um, for that. I have video tutorials on how to pick up stitches around the V-neck line as well. So if you've never picked up stitches or picking up stitches for the, the button bands. So, so I would say, even if you've never knit a garment before, you can definitely do this. And on both of the patterns, I have a link to my tips page. So on all of my patterns, I always have a tips page that goes to my website that provides uh, different tips and tutorials on all of the techniques in the pattern. So you can go to the Sporty 45 tips page and I cover everything from like how to pick a size, how to swatch, how to work the striping over here, basically everything. So, uh, so yes, you could totally do it. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. Your tips page is incredible. I love that you do that. Um, oh, I made soundtrack. Great pattern. Oh, nice. Soundtrack. That's a great, that's a good, um, two color. Yeah. Combination. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. I love that. And I love how it's a sweater and a cowl. Yes, exactly. Yeah, you can kind of practice the stitch pattern with the uh, with the cowl too before you move on to the garment. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Um, no, I love these patterns. I keep waffling back and forth about which one I'm going to make, but I'm leaning. I think I'm leaning towards the pullover. So mm -hmm. I don't know. What are you guys thinking? Are you going to make one? Which one do you like? Which one would you make first? My first yeah, team. like who's on pullover, who's on team pullover oh. and who's on team cardigan here? Yeah, where do you find the patterns? Okay, so I was just going to drop it in the chat. So let me do that really fast. Okay, so there is the link in the chat um, to the patterns. And that is on Elizabeth's website. And then um, I will also dr drop a link to the yarn which is pretty exciting and then all of these all of these links i will put in a pinned comment uh down below so uh if you're watching this later you'll be able to uh see all of that and the other fun thing is that we have a discount on the yarn for uh this pattern release super fun uh, the code is sporty45, and we're doing 10% off of You So Sporty yarn. Here it is. Nice, beautiful, squishy merino wool. So nice. And it's so nice for different sea. Like, it kind of, even if it's warmer weather, it's still so nice and lightweight, you know, and it has a really nice drape to it, so... Yeah, because you, the you knit these up on like a six, right? They're mm -hmm. kind of this I knit on a um, this I knit on a six, and then the pullover I did on a size seven needle. Perfect. Oh, because one is flat and one is in the round. Exactly. So that's and that's one of the tips that I share on my sporty forty five tips page about how uh, a lot of times people's in the round gauge can be a bit tighter than their flat gauge because when you're knitting the body of Sporty 45, you're just knitting in a circle. So you're not purling, you're just knitting every single round. And a lot of people's purl stitches tend to be a little bit looser than their knit stitches. So yeah. it kind of makes sense that when you're knitting in the round, your gauge might be tighter. And so a lot of times you have to bump up a needle size. Yeah, I know my purl stitches are lighter so or looser. So that is a yeah. good tip, yeah. Yeah. Mine are getting um, looser as, as time goes on. So <laughs> I feel like they were tighter. Now they're loosening up more. <laughs> Our hands change over time, right? Our yeah. 
Yes, exactly. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so then another fun thing we have is we have a really adorable <laughs> disco ball stitch marker <laughs> to coordinate with. So if you um if you get your use of sporty yarn, we are doing a little gift with purchase for the first uh 45. <laughs> <laughs> I know, really hitting it home. Really, the first uh, 45 people get a cute little stitch marker in included. And um, it's just so adorable. So, yeah, look. I mean, it's kind of big. I love it. It's so cute. I think it's Our, even fun to sort of attach to, like, your knitting bag or something like that, too. Like, yeah. right onto the zipper. It's kind of a fun... It's a fun I little knit accessory in general. Um, our friends at Billy and Ba made them for us and I like to do um I'm gonna take mine off the card now <laughs> but I like to get these kind that are the claw clip um what the heck okay hold on guys all right but I like to get this kind that have the little claw clip on them because then if I'm knitting along I can either hook it to my work or if I have a ring stitch marker, I put this on the ring stitch marker. So you kind of can get, do double duty when it has oh, the little... That. Yeah. And then I do. I do have these on like zipper pulls for all of my <laughs> Notions bags and my... <laughs> yeah, I use these little things all the time. But isn't that disco ball just so darn cute? It's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We really um, should have somehow been able to get some disco balls for this... For this life chat today, we could have, I, yeah, have a drop down at some point with confetti or something. Yeah. <laughs> I was just getting ready for the live stream, and I'm like, well, let me take off this sweatshirt and put on a desk up. <laughs> Wait, you didn't you didn't wake up and put that on? You oh, don't wear yeah, that no. normally every Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. I know last week I had a party dress on. I should have I last week I had Prosecco. What I'm doing today wrong, yeah. I guess. <laughs> All about Wednesdays now. <laughs> well, yeah, that's when I do my live stream, the Wednesday at one, uh, West Coast time. So uh, <laughs> but yeah, last week was my birthday. You know, I, my birthday having to fall on the Wednesday. So it was extra fun. I was so I was bummed you couldn't make it that day. I but know, I'm happy exactly. to have you. I'm happy to have you here to uh, celebrate our birthdays. I should have kept up my birthday banner and everything. Oh, that's true. I know. It's more of a birthday month in general, right? right. It's just not a day. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when it's like a milestone one like that. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, yeah. Oh, here we got some more comments. Team McSwain, the blue is gorgeous. Thank you very much. Yes, I love that sapphire blue. I know. Such oh, a pretty color. So pretty. Yeah. And then what? I said the a, bu a bunch of test knitters knit the main color as the silver with the sapphire stripes. But I love this sapphire to do. I think it looks so great with jeans. And then you could do like mm -hmm. any color. You could go kind of, re <laughs> you yeah. could go reverse tube socks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> reverse tube sock. <laughs> or even that. like, look how pretty, like a similar, a close color looks with it. The lavender. Exactly. Yeah, I like that. And that, that gives a more subtle look. So if you want your stripes to be a bit more subtle, that's a really great way to do that. Yeah. Perfect. Thomas, I'm going to rip that Alexa out. Reminder. Deploy. <laughs> <laughs> she's always so helpful, isn't she? I know. I'm so glad she's alerting the whole house of that. Um, so, uh, yes, I don't know. The colors are fun. So thank you. That is... Uh, a great like I don't know I don't know what I just knit my last sweater in this color so I can't <laughs> use it again and I I also have like 50 green sweaters so I can't go there but maybe that wine was, color I like that wine was it is it the ooh, is it the red wine? velvet yeah red velvet yeah I haven't knit a sweater in this yet mm. maybe that might have to be it that might be fun with like berry stripes. Ooh, yeah. Well, you uh, said, you know, monochrome. Yeah, exactly. That's a, that would be a great example of that. It is. Hmm. I am going to have to, and you know, I've never knit anything in this uh, midnight blue color either. Kind oh, of the more navy. Too. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, nothing big. I have a secret goal. Uh, I don't know. The I, An ambition came up for me this year that I want to have uh, some kind of garment in each color of my yarn. <laughs> so no, not, not, doesn't matter on the weight, but like at least I'd have one example of something in each. I think that'd yeah. be fun. Oh, I love that idea. <laughs> so... Uh, maybe I need to consult my closet before I choose my color <laughs> for my sweater. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, we have our fun little disco ball stitch markers. And we have Elizabeth's gorgeous patterns. And we have uh, our soft and squishy um, use so sporty yarn. So yeah. I think they all make a great combo. And, um, the, like, we should start knitting these. <laughs> <laughs> well, the good part is for both of them, you know, especially from the hem until you sort of start getting to neck shaping area, this is great. Like TV watching, traveling kind of knitting, you know, you want something oh. to knit, but you don't want to have to focus too, too much. Yes. Um, most of the knitting of these bodies is sort of like perfect movie watching or knit group or if you are going on a trip sometime soon so always you gotta always have one of those projects I have multiple projects on the needles always because they need to be at different phases depending on where I might be knitting yes I we have a strict uh rule in my knitting group that you can't be knitting on anything complicated because you yes. will mess it up and you will just end yes. up ripping it out so yes. yes we've gotten everybody uh like set up now to have the easy knit night project because of course we meet like a at a winery so yeah <laughs> so then extra it needs to be it's not just chatting right. going on yeah right so yeah there's an extra layer of difficulty if you had a glass of wine <laughs> yeah, yeah stocking it that's it that's all right. that's, that's all, that's all you get yeah uh, no counting required nothing yeah. like that yeah yeah Exactly, exactly. <laughs> oh, here we go. So Mary says she would knit the cardigan first. Awesome. Ooh, nice. I love that. Yeah. Actually, I had a I had one of my test preview knitters wound up doing both. And she said she was, yes, you know, she wound up doing the cardigan and then she did the pullover. And she said it made even the second time that much easier because she sort of got the the you know the the, the gist of like the short rows and things like that. So, so you could always do both too, if you can't yeah, decide. I know I do foresee like, and they'd almost make a cute set too. Like, yeah, you could I always kind of works like this. I, right. <laughs> it'd be cute to swap the colors or. Yeah. I don't know. There's a lot yeah, of ideas. You definitely could. I know you definitely could. I like that idea. Oh, Karen says, love the color coordinating you were doing. Hi, Karen. Nice to see you today. Susan, I would do the pullover. I think I'm going to start with the pullover, too. Shh. Um, Karen, love the cardigan. All right. And purchased both patterns now to decide on the yarn. Okay, Beth. Well, like I said, we have the Use So Sporty. I put that link in the chat. I can put it in again if you want. And the, oh, I did not. Hold on. You know, I did not say that you use the code SPORTY45 to get uh, a discount on the yarn. We have 10% off going like all into April. And um, yeah, like I said then too, if you order the yarn, you get a cute little commemorative stitch marker. <laughs> Our disco ball stitch marker. You could put your BGs on. You got your your <laughs> disco stitch marker. We got yeah. it all dialed in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Get getting the whole vibe then. <laughs> I love it. Do you know it occurred to we me have today? To, we have I'm to like, find out. Um, we have to find out what TV shows or movies were um, oh. were popular. I have. A th I feel like I know. I've looked this up before. I can't remember what movie wound up winning that year. Um. Well, Does anyone alien? know? Okay, so um, I have a cheat oh. book. <laughs> oh, you do look at that. <laughs> Somebody it. gave me this for uh, my fortieth birthday. Uh, my friend 
this was like my birthday card and I came across it the other day and I'm like, Oh, that's, that's exactly that's what I need. <laughs> um, so alien came out in 79. Oh, oh, uh, Kramer versus Kramer was the Academy Award winner. Oh, okay. The life of Brian. It's some good Monty Python. We're Monty Python fans in this oh. house. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, sure. Sh- Sherry, uh, can you show Iris Blossom with Citrus Pop? Love both patterns. Yes, I totally can. Okay, so this is the Iris Blossom. It is a nice, really good, like, royal purple. And then here is the Citrus Pop. And that is, um, it's nice kind of highlighter yellow. Mm -hmm. So they do, let me see if I get my face out of it. It usually um, does a good job of registering the colors so yeah I love that oh and somebody wanted to see um pistachio pistachio with midnight midnight okay and also asking um what other colors might go with pistachio okay okay there's pistachio and midnight that is really pretty um yeah I like that yeah this it's showing up really dark here, but the blue is, it is dark, but since my yarn has that sheen, it's not, um, it's not, like, so dark that you can't see it. Like, even see them on that chocolate that Elizabeth has with her mm-hmm. pistachio. Like, you can really see the, um, the depth of the color of the yarn. Uh, so what else would go with pistachio? Let's see. Um... Well, there you you could do your, (laughs) you could do your avocado fridge. (laughs) Um, Green and black always looks great. Mm -hmm. Um, Let's see. Green and pink, always a personal favorite. That lavender would look really pretty with the pistachio. Mm -hmm. So you can totally get a different... Like, if you do the uh, pistachio and the midnight, you know, that's a really kind of, like, uh, I don't know, wear with jeans type of color combo. And then the lavender is a bit brighter. Uh, Oh, what else do we have? What else would you suggest with the pistachio? Yes, I like that combo. Love those. Can I see pistachio with the iris blossom? Sure. Let's see. Okay, here we are. Oh, those look great together. Oh my gosh. I really love that. Yeah, that's pretty. Pistachio and saffron. I think I did hold that up for a quick second. <laughs> I love it. I love it too. <laughs> be good either. I think it'd be good either way. Mm-hmm. So many choices. Thank you. Yes, we do have a lot. Like I said, there's 25 colors, so we can uh, <laughs> we can keep going. And it'd be super fun, too, uh, with the, like, we didn't even get into the neutrals, really. I'm going color with color on this project. Yeah. But I think in our, um, in our post, on our blog posts, we have uh, the charcoal paired with the saffron as one of the color combo ideas, which... I think looks great. Mm-hmm. I really like that one. The charcoal with the pistachio is always a winning combo. I've actually made a sweater in this combo. <laughs> the vanilla is always great. Like, um, you know, a nice creamy sweater. You could do a really nice bright pop with the aqua. You can make a sky blue sweater. Mm-hmm. You could do the blue. I'm I'm just getting crazy now. I'm like starting to. St- <laughs> <laughs> you could do the blue with the midnight, the sky and the midnight. So anyway, pretty love those two. Thank you. Yes, I know. <laughs> so anyway, it's always hard for me to narrow down color combinations. So I was thrilled when Elizabeth was like, "I want these and those." <laughs> and I was yeah, like, <laughs> you got it. <laughs> It is. I mean, the great thing with your palette is I feel like they all kind of go together in a different ways. You know, there yes. aren't any two colors that I'm like, oh, I don't like those two together. It's just a different sort of combination. So I kind of feel like you can't go wrong. 
Yeah, no, I designed it to all work together. So that yeah. was the that was the point. <laughs> yeah. I know I'm a, I'm a graphic designer uh, by um <laughs> by trade. So it was kind of like that and that's why like that it was planned that way. You know, I started with a little range of colors and then I'd fit in other colors where they needed to go and um it just kind of grew from there to the 25 it is today. And that's why it's also the same across the different weights of yarn. You know, now we have four weights and the colors are all still the same. <laughs> so, you know, it's like you could make your sporty 45 uh, in these colors and then you could um, knit a different sweater in a different weight with the same colors. So you could yeah. make yourself a set. Um you know, so your shell, the shell could be lighter than your outer sweater, or you can make a beanie out of, to match whatever, or scarf, you know, I don't think that's the concept anyway. <laughs> I love it. Well, it's great because that way when you, I mean, it, there's so many colors that you just sort of fall in love with, and it's great to be able to then use it for basically any weight project that you have. Yeah, yes, exactly. Right. You always know what to turn to. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, because we have the fingering, sport, worsted, and bulky. So, like, the four main kind of weights. And then, yeah, if you ha find a project, it's like, oh, okay, I know how I knit with um, you so sporty. So, um, I'll try the bulky. And it's it's all even the same yarn. <laughs> it's just <laughs> thicker versions of it. <laughs> I use that uh, keep it simple method. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> which is nice because you know what to expect then and your yarn is always so nice to knit with and you know no matter what weight you get you're going to be happy with it so oh there you go Denise asked Elizabeth how do you knit the center of the v was it a cdd a center double decrease so it's a mitered uh, it's here, bring, her a a little bring her around yeah, a little bring her around let me bring her around here so <laughs> What you wind up doing, I'll explain just quickly a little bit. When you separate for the V, you actually take two stitches, your two center stitches, and you put them on a holder. And then when it comes time to pick up stitches, you pick up along here, and then you take the two stitches here that were on a holder and then pick up here. And that's what creates sort of the nice blend between the fabric and here. And to work the miter decrease, and I have a whole video that explains all of this, oh, that you yeah. place a marker underneath here. And when you get here, you wind up doing two decreases on either side. And as long as they're angled in the right direction and at the right ratio, you wind up getting this neat sort of angled decrease going on. But it's really just knit two together and a slip slip knit works side by side, um, but in a certain uh, in a in a certain way to make it angled like that wow I didn't even know and I've never worked anything like that that I am definitely making the pullover now because I want yeah, to and it's that. super I, easy it I might it. it might sound complicated but that's also why I did the video so even if you've never done anything like this before the video walks you through um the whole thing but it's really not as difficult as you think when you see a decrease like this it looks like oh my gosh there must be a lot more to it and it's kind of amazing the first time you do it and you're like oh that was magical it just sort of came together and it looks really cool it's so. beautiful yeah well thank you for explaining it and thank you for making a yeah. video about it I'm sure that yeah. will that will help us all <laughs> like I yes. said I've never worked one like that so yeah. I'll definitely be tuning in <laughs> Well, and I'm, I'm a very visual learner myself. So even if something is written and it seems simple, you still, you know, if it's something new that you haven't done before, just being able to visually see it and see how, okay, where am I supposed to attach the stitch marker when it says two stitches before, what exactly does that look like? So I, I'm personally, that's how I learn best. So, so that's how I teach it as well. Yeah. So leave out any sort of you know, misinterpretation, if you can visually see it, it's like, oh, that's, that's not so hard. I can do that. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I'm very visual too. And I, yeah, I love your videos. I've used them for, for before for other projects. So um, if you don't follow Elizabeth here on YouTube, you should. And um, yeah. And her patterns are so nice and well-written and really 
like um, clearly, clearly laid out, just really good instructions, a good schematic, nice, clear text. And like she said, she also has a whole page on her website with um, the like a whole tips page. And it's linked right here from the pattern. It says right up there, like on page one, here's that tips page. So it's almost like you've got a friend holding your hand as you knit this with you, which is just amazing. So yeah. Um, so yeah, perfect. The sporty 45 cardigan and the pullover. I think, I think the pullover is the one I'm gonna, I think that's my baby. It's calling to you. <laughs> I mean, all <laughs> knitting is, that's the problem. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, so, oh, we got ordered. Now I can't wait for the yarn to arrive. Has it shipped yet? <laughs> <laughs> That would well, be impressive now, if you could so, do the live stream and I, at the same time. Since I am here <laughs> with you currently, uh, the short answer is not yet, but thank you so much. I'm excited. <laughs> and you will get your little disco ball stitch marker. So that is a ton of fun. Thank you so much. And thank you, Elizabeth, for tuning in yeah. with me today. This has been a ton of fun. Yeah, so much fun and so much fun knitting with your yarn and collaborating with you again <laughs> on this. So then what are we going to do when we turn 50? That's the next one then. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that one, one birthday one. at a time. One, one <laughs> at a time. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> well, at least we'll have this for posterity. <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Okay, yeah. So we did a shawl. We did a shawl and for Sporty 40. Uh Sporty Which 40. I actually have here. Oh, I you know, to... I mine I is at out. my warehouse. Oh, there it is. Yes, Gosh. remember? Yes. So it's this it's cute still... little scarf. You know. I should put a I should put a link to those yarn kits too. Those are some of my favorites. Let's see. So just a cute little kerchief, scarf, shawl type of thing. And this use three different colors. Yeah. Um, I know it's so pretty. I made mine in, let's see. My top color was the teal. My yeah. middle color there was the aqua and then my border was everybody's favorite citrus pack. Oh yeah that's a good combo. <laughs> yeah I really like that. And that's another fun one that kind of uses like the uh color harmonies and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like we did two tonal with a pop and it worked out in every color combo. So just yeah, yeah I don't know. Okay so yeah we've got a shawl. Here we go. Look at that. Right. <laughs> she looks fabulous. There we go. Perfect. She's ready. <laughs> Super cute. She's like, uh, she's uh, happy. She's fi wearing five colors of UU. I think she wins. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> she went bold. <laughs> so. I like that. Um, yeah, that's kind of how I end up dressing more as a palette than uh, in yeah. one color. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good well anyway this is perfect and thank you so much for uh joining me and working on this yeah, collaboration thanks for having me yeah so um like i said i will put a pinned comment with links to the patterns they're available on elizabeth's website and also um on ravelry and you can do if you add both patterns to your cart on our website, they um, do an automatic bundle discount. And uh, the link to Ravelry already shows it as an ebook, so you can get two for the price of 1.5. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 and then, yeah, the the code on uu.com is sporty45, and that is for 10% off the yarn. And, um, yeah, the first, um, for limited time, we have our little disco ball stitch markers. So, as a fun little gift with purchase. 
So anyway, well, thank you for coming today, Elizabeth. And yeah, I can't wait to cast on this project. I am going to make a little group in the in my Club UU, my online community. Uh, so if anybody else is working on one of these, we can share it in there. And I'll be sure to update you on my progress on my Wednesday lives and the whole thing. So awesome. yeah, well, thanks okay. for having me and thanks for everyone being here. So yeah. and if anyone ever has questions about the pattern, you can just reach out to me. I have a contact form on my website. And so I always provide pattern support. So if any questions come up, you can reach out. That is perfect. Yeah. And where else can people find you? It's um, yeah, you can find me. I do a weekly newsletter called Friday Night Knit Tips, where I share different knitting tips and fun knitting related things every Friday night. And you can sign up for that on my website, which is elizabethsmithknits.com. And then you can also find me on social media at Elizabeth Smith Knits. Nice and easy. Perfect. Yeah, <laughs> one good spot. And here on YouTube, which... Uh, yes. Exactly. I think, I think is another. Your channel is great. So thank you. And I do love that newsletter. I read it every week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yay. Awesome. <laughs> so I highly recommend going and signing up and, of course, getting these patterns and getting started on one of them with your favorite color of You So Sporty. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, have a great afternoon and thanks for uh, joining me on here Hi. today. Thank you. Bye. Bye, guys.